welcome back to my channel how are you doing guys happy weekend to you all it is a news on our next step that is why i want to bring it to our notice to see hear what is happening around us guys for some years now the south east leaders both on hanez and Dibo, youth council and all of them, Association of South East, all of them, they have signed an agreement with the federal government to proscribe IPO. They are the one that got federal government to proscribe IPOP. Why every other region are busy protecting their own, even their terrorists, even their ban bandits, even their killers, thieves, they are all protecting them. It's, it's only in the southeast that they bring their own. You can hang it. You can do all manner of things you like to do unto them. But guess what? As the day things unfold, these people, I think they're beginning to see the handwriting on the wall. But I just pray that they will see it all. Okay? They have beginning to see the handwriting on the wall. And they have turned around to make a quite a strong demand from the federal government. Before we tell you the, what their demands are, guys, I just want to use this as a background of what we are going to look into. Okay? Just grab your popcorn, granite, whatever you have. Sit tight and listen. Let us hear what... Why they turn around and what kind of demand are they making from federal governments? Let's read the newspaper. The group is an expanded Igbo youth stakeholders comprising Ohanes and Igbo youth, National Youth Council of Nigeria, Southeast in brackets, Nigerian Youth Congress, Southeast, National Association of Nigerian Students, NAS, and other youth leaders in Southeast extraction. In a, com in a communique issued, signed by the Deputy National President, National Youth Council of Nigeria, Comrade Innocent Ndu Anya, Comrade Chuks Okafo, NAS Senate President, Mazi Chukuma Opaleze Chuku, for Ohane Zendibo Youth, Comrade Maswe Ezela Ugu, for Nigerian Youth Congress, Comrades Ilobe Chide, immediate past NAS president, Comrades Pascal Ugu, sat his chairman, among others, at the end of their meeting in Oka, said that having considered the state of the nation, the increasing state of insecurity, the overall development of the Igbo nation, they resolve as follows as a step towards genuine peace and reconciliation as championed by Ohane Zendibo. The federal government and the Southeast Governor should as as a matter of urgency on proscribe the indigenous people of Biafra as a terrorist organization and called for release of all political prisoners of Igbo extraction. They regretted the heightened insecurity in the southeast, which has resulted in the loss of lives of their people, security agents, and properties, and deeply commiserate with the families of the bereaved. The group further called on the southeast governors to synergize and liaise with the relevant stakeholders, especially the youth, to narrate the current to arrest the current situation and challenges in the region. They condemn in totality the wanton destructions of lives and properties in the southeast and appeal to the perpetrators of the crime, to the criminal act, to disease, fought with its immediate effects for a proper means of airing their grievances and Southeast governors should take notes. We continue. They said that they 
unequivocally alliance with the resolution of the certain governors and call for necessary legal framework for immediate implementation of the resolution and propose for quarterly interface between the governors of the southeast and the south and the youth stakeholders so that the issues of the zone will be regardless reviewed the group called on the southeast governors to fully implement the recommendations of the NSAS panel report, especially on the youth development, and also review the laws of their various state security council committee to include critical youth stakeholders. The group further called on the southeast governors to adopt business friendly policies to attract Ndibo investment back home. They, they noted that for the sake of fairness, equity and justice, every political party should zone their presidential candidate to Southeast. They unanimously resolve to convene all important youth security stakeholder summit to be held soon and to be an annual event to, to appraise security issues. <laughs> Guys, have you heard what the Ohanese uh, Youth Council has, you know, charged the, the state governments or the state governors and the federal level of it that they should deproscribe IPOP? That they did nothing. They didn't see them kill anybody or do anything. IPOP, the Kahun, you know, these people went as far as prescribing them for what? For what? That is why all of them are on run. Both the, the, I mean the governors because they knew right from the one that what they did is not good. What they did is not good. And upon that, they are still using every security means to destroy their children, to, to take them away, to do all manner of things. How many IPOP member, how many IPOP member have governors taken away? Can't it? Is it in Emene? Is it in Portacot? Is it in Obibo? Can't it? Thousands of youth, people that, that say they are the governors, chief security of the state, you allow your own children to be, you know, destroyed that way. And you say you are a leader just to prove your paymasters that you can do it? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Mazina de Kale has said it that these governors can never be forgiven no matter what they do well if they have decided to wake up from their sleep and slumbering good morning and good luck to them but if they are not fine they should continue whether they wake up or not what we want is Piafra and that we shall get let us read one or two comments and here you know it is, it is a custom that Nigerians must react Nigerians must react. So let us hear them. What one Nigeria did in the life of Igbos is unf unforgivable. You see that and I'm telling you. Somebody is saying that it is unforgivable offense and unforgettable. And for the fact that God did not forgive neither. God did not forgive neither forget <laughs> all his works <laughs> and the works of the enemy. Let Biafra go and save their, and serve their God. I don't know. I don't understand what this person is writing. Okay, he's entitled to his own opinion. And that person is saying, let me also remind those, those so-called uh, youths, and all the rest of them, the pre, the predicament suffered by the Nigerian police and army in the southeast is what they brought to themselves, and is not a threat to the citizen in any way. Guys, I want us to wrap it up here. You've heard their demand, that their demand is deproscribing IPOP. What have you to say about it? Do you think it's possible at this critical time the federal government will do that? Come tell me your own opinion at the comment section. And you've heard my own opinion. Guys, it's not possible. <laughs>